Portuguese versus the Romans. Okay. That's a oh I remember playing this match. It was a fun matchup. Humans are weak against gunpowder subs. I could see that, yeah, that's kind of true. I could see that. Hand cannoneer. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. I want to try to lull Viper into an extended feudal age. And then after that, I want to try to play towards a fast imp with Vittorias. And hand cannoneers. That needs a good map though. Let's see if let's see if my map will allow something like that. Map is actually looking decent. I have a back gold, I mean for Arabia standards. Hard to wall though. Okay, I think the way to get the extended feudal is to actually open with a drush. So we're gonna open with a a two militia drush, and then we go into maybe some scouts. I just have to mix it up to constantly attack. Make sure he cannot get the walls down. So it doesn't exactly matter what I go for. It just matters that I prevent him from full walling. If he full walls, then I can't do what I what I want to do. Hello, Salad. What's up? That sounds like some a reasonable try. What what other options can I go for? I can go for extended feudal, and then if I really want to, I could just go for like a castle drop organ guns as well. That also feels pretty decent. Vittoria collection fast and bills. No, it, it's actually much slower. One Vittoria takes 20 pop and gives you 10 bills worth, but you don't need to make a town center, then gather wood for farms, get food for bills to grow your economy the natural way. All you have to do is drop down the Vittoria and then they get right to work. And they're also infinite, so they never run out. So they have their advantages, but they're not more efficient than bills. If there's ever a situation where you have infinite wood, gold, and stone without needing Fatoria, like just, just how the map is, then Fatoria would be terrible. Fatoria wall him in. Oh man. Now that would be quite, quite the strat. I just realized it's the first time we face off in SGL. Okay. This is quite the match. Yo, SSBM Mushu. Thanks to the tier one for six months, man. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> Generally speaking, in an extended feudal, you definitely want to have two lumber camps. I'll aim for that. I'm gonna hide the militia so he doesn't suspect anything. 
Viper don't suspect there's nothing to see, Viper. Viper, go somewhere else. Viper, stop chasing my militia. What? Okay, maybe he thinks I'm just quick walling. <laughs> maybe I'm really bad at quick walling, so maybe he thought that was an attempt at quick walling. He'll just leave me alone. Okay, I think we got him. We got him here. I took him off my sense. He doesn't suspect a thing. Not at all. Just for the spearman opening. Uh, we got walled in. No! Okay, I think one hit. It's fine. Now he sees my strats. But he only sees the first part of my strat. The second part of my strat... It's going to be to extend the, the feudal age. Oh, I, I hit the I hit the sheep. <laughs> I finished the for him. <laughs> I finished the for him. Ah, oh, they're learning my my laming, man. The hell. I'm going for a blacksmith. Is he going for men at arms? I think he might be. <laughs> Stop walling me in. That 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 gap is cursed. I actually can't go to that gap. That gap is very cursed. Also, I think I want to get a horse collar because I do want to extend feudal age, and horse collar is good. I also do want to start lining up some walls because if we're gonna plant the fast imp after, he doesn't know this. Why is he massing so many spears? Does he think I'm just gonna go like knights after? So yeah, we're gonna set up some walls. This is a very unorthodox style of play, by the way. Because Hold on, we gotta take this take care of this. Cause normally you'd like to rush the blacksmith, you would skip horse collar, you go for like the fast fletching. But here I've delayed everything aggression wise. To set up my eco and my map, and then the aggression will come in later. Because so again, the longer Feudal Age goes, the better for me. Spears. I know they have plus two armor, but they're not invincible. They're still spearmen. Oh, okay, we have way too many bills there. So we want to try to set up the fast imp after this. The way I see it is that stable follow-up would be so good for me right now. Fletching. Nice, he's going range. He is going exactly in the direction I want him to go in right now. This is amazing. Now we go stable. Look at what, what we're doing here, what we're accomplishing. It looks like a standard game. To the untrained eye, this looks like a standard game. So obviously, the eyes of my viewers, very well trained. You guys will see that we're going into an exact scenario where Fastim can be pulled off, which is an extended feudal with me being fully walled afterwards to protect myself in Castleage. An added bonus is that he's on trash units. He's looking for some skirm spear. Then you're making farms. Very good. Not the non-meta part yet? Well, we're setting up the non-meta part in a sneaky way. It, it, it's against Viper. I can't just go like fast castle organ. It's not going to work. So you have to set it up in a way where it looks like you're going to play a standard game. But then instead of doing the standard thing, which is like adding TCs, going for relics, we're going to go for a fast then. And we'll see if it works. Nice, it's a good hit on the spear right there. Uh, 
Nice. This is very good. Nice. Again, just more, more army. The more, the better. And at some point, we're going to just stop army and go for castle than imperial age. We need a good amount of farms before we get there. I think I can just go to wood, I guess. Let's go across. But the reside for the off meta comes in. No, 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 it's okay. We'll, we'll make sure not to win the game, don't worry. I, 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 we haven't done any damage to his economy, so like we're not really close to winning the game anyway. Now, I'm gonna cut all, all production. Th this is enough. We've extended the feudal age to 40 bills. Go back, watch my games. I rarely get 40 bills in feudal. Usually, like 36 and I'm up. Now, when I get to like 42, and he's rushing down a market because he wants to get the castle. He's expecting me to rush castle, go full knights, and play something standard. We're gonna try something completely different, though. Something we've set up since minute one, basically. I will click up. So now we got to think about what the resources I need or what I want to do. I want to go fast them. And I'm, it's unclear what units I want to go, but I want to go Victorious as my main units. Hmm. What's off meta about this? I'm setting it up, guys. No way he would have accepted this crazy off meta play. Hart, listen, I know you're the kind of player who doesn't think like more than 30 seconds of the future and you get surprised by every transition your opponent makes. But good players, the ones that finish more than top 10 in NEC, we think ahead and we go for the next step. And that's exactly what I'm going for here. We're using standard play to set up the off meta gameplay here. Yeah, I thought I might need an archer to push back that spear, but we don't. And he's massing trash, which is really good. Okay. This is good, this is good. Damn, I'm building up my haters right now. My haters are doubting me so hard. They think I can only play the meta. If someone accused some anime music, but I'm about to fast dump on the... Hold on. Nice! Hater salivating, I know. Okay. Now we need chemistry, so we, we need that. And I guess bomber cannon would be good. Modesty for relics is also decent, though. And we'll play the fast step. And I think I want to take stone. So I want to be able to go Pretorius, but also get a defensive castle if I need it. And with the army that I have right now, I'm going to make as much noise near Viper's base as possible. Get as much damage here as we can. That's amazing. Oh, Pikeman, what? what is he going for? Yeah, Vi Viper is confused. I'm telling you he's confused. Oh, what the hell? You guys are you guys are trolling me, but like he's actually so confused. He's going pikeman, and I have my siege workshop. I'm ready. I'm gonna go a couple scorpions here. I need less on food, actually. Definitely need less on food. He's not full trash units. That pikeman went in, so there's a hole somewhere, or he just glitched through the wall, or was. <laughs> I guess maybe that's also working out. I need way less on food and more to wood.
Yeah, it's a small mistake from me. Oh, no way. What? Oh, my God. Get hard. Roast me, bro. Do your worst. Uh, do I need a castle or can I just Victoria it? I want to mark it though. It's, it's, I'm not used to the style, so we need to mark it. But I get chemistry first for sure. Then I get to access the hand cannon here, which is what we need. I'm going to Victoria at the back right away. I don't need a mag at all. I'm fine. Famous last words, but still. Oh my god. I'm setting up a factory. You guys ever played Bloons Tower Defense? You know, like the monkey farms? That's how I think of Victoria's. That's how it feels like, at least. I have chemistry. <laughs> I got chemistry for plus one attack on my scorpions. <laughs> Guys, let me cook. <laughs> Yo, he can't handle my scorps. I shoot fire. Time I'm open. I would just start going hand cannon in here. The, the comp should be like hand cannon bomber cannon, I guess. But I'm still open. I have a hole the whole time. <laughs> like just playing with the hole. <laughs> That's crazy. Fort Castle doesn't really do much, I just shove it down. Hey, I can just go cannons. I, I sold stone, I panicked, and I bought stone, but it was not the right call. Redemption. No way he moves that guy. How did he know? That's crazy. Well done. One more Victoria? Is that like unnecessary? Oh, 
want to get the Arquebus. Ballistics on gunpowder sounds so broken versus castish player. Yeah, ballistics would be so good on gunpowder and on regular stuff. Okay. How does he stop this now? I have ballistics on these guys. Oh, it's big damage. Oh. Oh, what? Now we want to go for minerals only. How does he stop this? Monks aren't gonna work, no way. Archibus was so smart. Good priority on me. And not only do I have like a really good comp now, I have infinite res. Okay. I don't have infinite units though. Come on now, Hera. Oh, I need to get devoted. I think next step is BBT. How does he micro this? Engineer would be nice too. Oh man, so good. This is better than I thought as well. Wow, where are the haters at now? Hearts. There we go. Look at that. I told you it's off meta and it was off meta. Five Pinchorias in the back. Fast Imp. That was sick. That's what I'm telling you. Off meta doesn't have to be troll. You just have to plan it. Per like things have to go your way. But if things go your way, like this is actually a legit strat. I really enjoyed this. This is fun to play. Pretty decently strong. Arch and Scott with Porto is off meta. Arch, you've never fast imped in your life. You don't even know how to go imp without making 3TC. Oh my god, I can't. Heart, I need to get you on voice right now for the YouTube guys to enjoy. But anyways, they can probably see the chat a little bit. Uh, but yeah, not a bad strat. You can't off meta from the start. You got to set it up properly, guys. Trust me. Off meta Mondays, it's going to be big on Twitch. I promise you this. We're going to make some crazy strategies happen. Just got to be smart about it. Look at my economy. It's so good. I have no bills, but I have so much economy. And the crazy thing is, it's infinite, right? I have five Victorias infinitely working. He has Vills that could die. Vills that will run out of gold, run out of stone. Pretty crazy. Alright, this is definitely making it to YouTube. So if you guys did enjoy uh, the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And stay tuned for the next one. Also, come on down to my Twitch channel, especially on Monday, where you see more like this. Peace.